Ricky Fowler. Welcome to Match Play TV. Thank you. You and I have been talking on the radio for several years since you really came out and made a big deal uh, on the tour, Ricky, and you've been always so nice to go on the mic. Uh, all the success, uh, all the money, uh, all the fan adulation hasn't changed you one bit, has it? No, I still love to play golf, so uh, I'm you know, trying not to let that have an effect on me. I mean, I still love to play the game and um, excited to be here and excited to get to play some of the best tournaments in the world. I told you a few years ago, you might remember, I said, you know, Ricky, I think you were raised right. I had... Uh, Tell me about how you were raised. You know, definitely good parents and grandparents and uh, people that were involved in my life early on that uh, didn't let me stray away too far and good. didn't let me get out of hand. So it was uh, nice to have good people around me and still do. You like to have your fun, though. Tell me what you love to do when you're not playing golf. Uh, well, I mean, I grew up on, on dirt bikes and did a lot of that, uh, a lot of dirt jumping and bicycle riding. Um, Ever break anything? A few things. But, what about uh, now? Have they told you, don't do it, Ricky, because you'll be like either Miguel on L and break a leg or somebody who got hurt? Are they telling you to watch out? Uh, no, there's there's nothing that says I can't do it. Um, if I if I get hurt while doing something like that, there could be some... Are you a little bit more mindful about that? A little bit. I mean, I definitely have to watch out and be careful. This is uh, this is what I do for a living and what I get yeah. to do. So I still like to have fun. You know. Am I going to see in the extreme X Games or something? No, no. I'll, uh, <laughs> you know, maybe down the road I'll maybe do some car racing or something. But There you go. Uh, nothing too crazy. That's very cool. Tell me about your golf. What's going on with golf right now for Ricky Fowler? Uh, kind of in a, a little bit of a transition period, working on the game. Started working with Butch at the end of last year. Yeah. Um, putting's been a little bit of a letdown at the beginning of this year, so looking to uh, finally get some putts to go in and see if we can get some momentum built up. But swing-wise, I'm feeling really good, hitting the ball very well, so uh, excited about this year. Is there anybody on tour, Ricky, because you came up one of the new crowd of young men on the PGA Tour, just been here a few years, is there anybody on tour that you fear, or are you as fearless as you look when we watch you on TV? You're a gopher broke, almost in the new generation of an Arnold Palmer-esque or a Phil Mickelson-esque gopher broke player, aren't you? Uh, a little bit. I, I think I may get a little bit of a reputation that isn't exactly me. I mean, I've always played aggressively, but I don't think I, you're I don't, reckless. Yeah, no, I'm not. Uh, I'm not. But you are gopher anything. broke. A little bit, to an extent. I mean, I'm not gonna. I'm not out there playing overly aggressive. Um, I do like to have some fun on the golf course. Gotta hit the ball far, then the crowd goes, Woo! then you hear the Ooh, la, la, la. But as far as being afraid of anyone, no, I'm not afraid of anyone, but I definitely respect all the players out here. Mm -hmm. You know, everyone's out here for a reason and playing against the best players in the world. Charity Foundation, what do you focus your time on uh, when you're not on the course and you're giving some time back? Who is it for? Uh, well, I most enjoy being able to give back to the, the younger generation. Um, I mean, that's, I, I'd say my biggest fan base is with the younger generation being able to uh, kind of help grow the game, get them involved, but being able to give back to, you know, whether it's helping out with, with kids as far as you know, it's health, education, sports, uh, mm -hmm. any way I can. And then uh, I know a lot of other guys on the tour are involved with, with charity, but as well as being involved with kids. So uh, being able to uh, play in other charity events and, and help the other guys out, it's, uh, you know, part of playing on tour and part of growing the game. Very distinctive clothes. Of course, Cobra, your clothes, but very distinctive clothing with the puma and all the great colors and all that. Ricky, where's your hair? Uh, a little trim. Uh, a lot of trim. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Is that just something you decided to make a little shift change because it's summer coming and heat? And uh, are, you, are you looking for the new Ricky Fowler, more the uh, kind of the movie star look? No, just uh, me being me. I'm not, uh, I'm not too worried about what other people think of how I look or Good what I you. wear or anything like that. So I got it cut somewhat short at the end of last year and yeah. let it grow back out and felt like cutting it short again so did, did any did did any anybody raise a ruckus about it or did the girls write you and say what 
Uh, there's there's love or hate with whatever I do. Okay. So I'm I'm not too worried about it. So you take it all in stride. Yeah, it's uh you know I had the mustache. A lot of people hated that, and I wear some crazy clothes every once in a while. And it's uh, it's just me being me, and you know I'm not too worried about whether uh, you know people love it, hate it. It's uh, you know I think it's the biggest thing to to kids that you know look up to me is just be yourself, and you know don't try to be someone you're not. Am I going to interview you as a major champion pretty soon, Ricky? I would like to think so. I uh, like with where my game's at. Obviously, it doesn't doesn't look that great after three missed cuts, but uh, well, we won't there, worry about that. There's a lot of good things. Which going on. major championship do you think you can win? It? Which one do you think has got your name on it? Uh, well, I get my first chance at the Masters this year. So, uh, are you a Masters setup guy? I like it there. I've had some good rounds. I haven't had a great finish yet, but uh, obviously, it's a great place and. Uh, that's, that's the first chance of the year. Uh, I've always loved playing over at Lynx Golf and playing the Open Championship. I uh, played well in the U.S. Open last year. Yes, you did. Um, I think the only one I haven't had a good finish in yet is, is the PGA Championship. So, That'll come around. Um, we'll see. Three, maybe, maybe four good looks if we can get a good week at the PGA. It is Ricky Fowler's world, and we just get to hang out in it. Thanks, Ricky, for being on Match Play with me today. Yeah. Thanks for having me.